Christ, in me, by electing me as Speaker of the Third Assembly of the Council Assembly of Yamira. I thank you for the support and kind words as we interacted while conversing for the position. I particularly want to thank members of the public who expressed support for my nomination and the announcement came out under a week ago. I commit to serve you diligently, fairly, with strict adherence to the Constitution and our standing orders. Honorable members, as your speaker, I'm looking forward to have the public more involved and gain more understanding in the role of the Council Assembly, its proceedings, and how all of us contribute in making life better for our people. The Constitution of Kenya has placed emphasis on public participation, and I am committed to entrench best practices based on legislative traditions to promote more involvement of the public in our activities. Honorable members, the role of the Counter Assembly is marked for us. At 185 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the main roles in legislation, oversight, and representation. I urge you to be accessible, real, and zealous to our course as we execute these functions. Even with our individual and party differences, we need to represent voices and needs of our constituents I speak with one voice even in tough circumstances. Honorable members, in legislative tradition, the legitimacy of the pieces of legislation that we pass lies on the scrapless attention we on both sides of the house pay to the debates that precede the passing of each bill. I have no doubt that our goal is to advance the interests of the people of Yamil. I therefore urge that we have more constructive engagements and contestations of ideas that will lead to widely agreeable legislations that will build synergy across our current stakeholders. Honorable members, we need to uphold the honor and dignity of the House in the way we will conduct our proceedings. I will facilitate a good free flowing debate that gives chances to all with a desired outcome being better policies and laws. I expect you to debate vigorously but with mutual respect and in accordance with the provisions of our standing orders. I, pro I promise to be impartial and fair but also firm and forthright. Honorable members, I remain available in the office and away for consultation, advice and guidance on matters affecting the assembly. My office will be accessible to all and I commit to facilitate actions leading to the achievement of the tasks ahead of us. Honorable members, it's my considered belief that all of us will work together towards building a better Yamira. We will work closely with the governor and the executive to ensure that the grievances of the people we represent are adequately addressed. I wish to take this earliest opportunity to congratulate you on your election or nomination and wish you all the best as you serve members of the third assembly. Honorable members, once again, I thank you for the support you have accorded me and I look forward to a harmoniously working relationship. I thank you all.